Slater here in the bowels of Arco Sleep Train Arena. Can't be on the court because there's literally still a party an hour after the game uh, going on in the court. Mike Bibby's out there cutting down the net. Scott Pollard, all these old guys are here. It was a really fun, cool night in Sacramento. They kind of sit to, they sent off this arena. Uh, in a really you know commemorative way, throwback jerseys, throwback court, uh, everyone from like the franchise's history basically uh, kind of descended upon this like old barn out north of town. But within a cool night and a you know feel good win for the Kings was you know some concerning trends popping up again for the Thunder. They turned the ball over 21 times, uh, which includes the Stars really turning it over. Uh, I think eight for Westbrook, five for Durant. Uh, four of those were late in the game. And then, you know, the, the late game issues again, the fourth quarter, the game's tied 101, uh, 101 with, you know, I think three minutes left. Uh, and then the Kings go on, I, I believe, like a 9-2 spurt right there. The Thunder actually come back with some crazy shots. Russell Westbrook hits a long three. He gets fouled on one of those intentional fouls, but he flings up a three. The refs actually give him three free throws. Uh, but then on the other end, Rudy Gay basically puts the game away with two free throws with one second left to break a tie. Um, I don't know. I mean, like, this this loss does not matter seeding-wise for the Thunder. I mean, like we've talked about, they are the three seed. Uh, but, you know, just you'd like to see them perform better now that we're a week away from the most important playoffs, you know, this franchise has faced in its short history. But anyway, here's Billy Donovan and Kevin Durant talking post game. This would be a playoff atmosphere coming into this. How do you think the atmosphere of the playoff is going to I mean, I think these guys have obviously played in very, very hostile environments before, so I don't want to um, say that uh, this was any different than probably different situations. These guys have been in, in playoff situations or on the road in different environments. It's a great environment here. I said it before the game. Um, they've always had a great, great support, great enthusiasm, but I don't want to sit there and say it was anything that our guys hadn't seen before or been in, in, in front of before. So um, I said before the game, and I still hold true to this, is that we, we need this right now, this time of year, just these hard court battle struggle. Obviously, there was a lot of emotion on their side with this being the last you know, uh, game in the arena and a lot of people coming back and wanting to be a part of it. So there was a lot of emotion and enthusiasm on their side. And, um, you know, our guys battled and fought, but um, we made way too many mistakes to find a way to win there at the end. Yeah, it seemed like the team was very frustrated throughout. It was a physical game, and they did make a lot of mistakes. Why do you think this matchup and this night? Well, I think the one thing that's really good is that, you know, I think we've got a group of guys that are really competitive. They really, really want to win. And I do think that emotionally being able to, you know, control and stay focused and, and locked in on the things that you have control over becomes really, really because, you know, at the end of the day, if this shot, maybe a question get called by an official, um, you know, a turtle, like, there's still other things that you can control and, and, and get your, your, your focus back on. So, um, this this game was a game where it constantly tested us all the way through. We battled and we fought. Give our guys a lot of credit for finding a way to even get it tied. Um, but, you know, again, you know, at the end, it's a tough goal. You know, I thought Kevin, a couple times driving, you know, really got bumped and banged and there was no calls and you, know, you would have thought that they would have let that one go and would have went into overtime, but it wasn't. Well, I don't think it's necessarily that the mistake's late um, because we fought our way back, but clearly the turnovers hurt us. You know, we had too many turnovers, that was it. And I thought the offensive rebounding, you know, really was a problem on the glass. You know, we didn't do a great job rebounding the ball at the level we needed to. And then I thought they shot an extremely high percentage. Um, you know, I thought in the first half they did a really good job of putting their body in front of Russell and drawing fouls, offensive fouls on Russell. And we needed to do a better job of putting our bodies in front of Cousins. And, draw, and we started to do that in the second half. But I thought the rebounding and the turnovers, I thought, you know, statistically, we moved the ball pretty well. We got high, I thought, high percentage shots. Um, we had some breakdowns defensively. Um, you know, coming down the stretch, we lost a couple of shooters. They made a three. Um, you know, I think Kevin was trying to draw a foul. Those things I'm talking about. You know, I think clearly he got bumped, and probably if you're going to call the one for Gay, you probably need to call that one. But they did. You know, um, but overall, I don't think the offense was as much of a challenge or a problem for us as much as it was. 
when we shot the ball up at the basket, good things happened for us. It was the turnovers, it was our defense, it was our rebounding. So I'm thinking about the rest of the game. Are you encouraged at all? You come back from seven points in 24 seconds and get it tied. Well, again, I think that these guys are um, they're very competitive. They have a never say die attitude. They keep getting everything they have until the horn goes off. I've always been really, really happy and pleased with their effort. You know, it's very, very I, I, I can't remember a game where I walk off the floor and say these guys just didn't put forth any effort tonight. I mean, they really, really do a great job in that area. And you know, to your point, you know, the game's probably over. We found a way to go back in. It's just unfortunate the game had to end that way where we couldn't have played five more minutes. Got bumped on a, a couple of those play plays. Did you feel like that should have been called or, or if it wasn't in the gay foul? Maybe shouldn't have been. I don't know. I mean, I, I ain't going to leave it in the hands of the ref. That never going be, so. I just gotta make the shot. You know, I missed a bunch tonight, and I, I wish I could have got back. But that's the name of the game. Sometimes you just gotta keep fighting through it. You know, they they got we we fought we fought back after being down eight or so in the third, mid, you know, late in the fourth. I'm sorry, and we uh, tied the game up and they put it in the rest hands again in the fourth and uh, ended the fourth. And, you know, they made those two free throws. So I play. I thought we played great defense, but. Their last game of the year, I know how it goes. 21 turnovers tonight, is that maybe the, the biggest key? It always the key. Turnovers and offensive rebounds, you know. Hey, Drew. It's always the key. You know, they, they yeah, just, they outplayed us you know, in those areas. And, you know, they got the W. Kept just a little preview of playoff intensity, atmosphere, that kind of thing, or not quite? Uh, a little bit. The crowd was played off atmosphere. You know. um, both teams could have been a lot better. Yeah, it was playoff atmosphere as far as the arena was concerned. But I, I think the game, you know, it was sloppy. You know, both teams played sloppy, especially us. And they, but they came out and made more plays on the stretch than we did. And uh, they made big shots all night. So, uh, you gotta give them credit. Kevin, is, it, is the physicality in the matchup tonight? Is it just the mistakes you guys know that you can't make? What's the most frustrating part about this? Um, just the loss. To be honest, it's just the loss. You know, it's. Uh, uh, we work so hard, and you know, we, we come out, and you know, sometimes we don't have that sense of urgency, and we kind of ease into the game, and we can't do that on the road. And we just gotta lock in for 48 minutes, and you know, the shots might not go in, but all the stuff we gotta do. So, uh, this is how our game goes. It's going down. You know, you're not gonna be able to play a perfect game, but for us, you know, we just gotta we gotta continue to just you know, stay as locked in as we can for as long as we can, and we'll be fine. So you guys, tonight, tonight we had those we had a couple. Stretches, you know. I know I did. You know, as a leader, like I always say, you know, the team follows me, so I gotta be better. You guys held Cousins to seven to twenty-four. Anything you all did uh, in that yeah. matchup there? Yeah, he doesn't really pass the ball. Oh uh, yeah. Especially when he gets to the top, and he drives it. So we just try to throw some bodies at him. He's a tremendous player, but we know that uh, you know they, they they rely on him heavy and shoot the majority of the shots. So. But uh, Seth, Curry, Seth Curry came off the bench and you know, scored well. Hit some got the ball early in the first half with those threes. Collison and, and, and Gay got a little bit too. So they had three guys that scored well tonight. You guys were in a really good rhythm. You win, you win eight in a row, then you sit in uh, Detroit, had to sit the other night. Any of the resting break a rhythm, or do you feel like you're still in a good rhythm? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I mean. Trip, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we beat we beat Denver when our home team. We beat Denver after losing to Houston. I think it was in a good group. We were playing well, and uh, we sat people with Portland. And our team still played well tonight. It's an emotional night for them. The last game here in, uh, in this arena, the crowd was into it. The, the, the guys were you know hyped up and amped up. It was, uh, it, was it was a different atmosphere when come day coming here in the, the regular season. And, uh, they responded well. I think we we just kept fighting, but we didn't come out on top. So.